Welcome back to Good Day. We are just days away from the unofficial start of summer, Memorial Day, which means backyard cookouts. But if the usual potato chips and, you know, potato salad are becoming the most boring side dishes, how about changing it up a bit? Kaylee Clark joins us from Bubba's 33 with something tasty, light, and fresh. Good morning. Good morning. Look at all this color you just brought to our table, and it all looks very patriotic. This is so cute. <laughs> It's adorable. It's adorable. We'll get to the drinks in just a minute, but let's talk a little bit about the salad. Yes. This is our strawberry quinoa salad. Okay. Um, so we wanted to bring something fresh mm -hmm. and light so that it goes with that heat of the summer. Right. So I left the toppings off the side so you could see exactly how What's fresh it? our salads are made every day. So we start... Um, with the lettuce of it, the spring mix. Spring mix. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. And then we'd go to the quinoa. And yes. you could sprinkle um, your portion, but we do a pretty hefty amount right on top of that salad. And what I love about this is there's some some protein in quinoa. Absolutely. You know, so it gives you, and those greens, it's a superfood. It's good for you. So you're eating a salad and you've got a little bit of protein. On and you can also pair the salad with our salmon as well, so you can oh, even add more to it. Absolutely. absolutely. Wonderful. And then we have the goat cheese. Goat cheese. Our oh, fresh in-house goat cheese. I love goat cheese. So do I. <laughs> it's delicious. It's one and of it, my it does go great with strawberries. Too, it just so. has that nice, soft, sweet taste to it. Mm -hmm. And then we have our diced tomatoes. Tomatoes. So keep it a little light, fresh. And when we head into summer, people are gardening and they're going to have those tomatoes. Absolutely. I'm looking for, for something to do with them. Yep. And then we have our cranberries. Cranberries for a little sweetness here. Yum. Absolutely. And then we move on to our candied pecan. Candied pecan. They I'm looking in here and I was like, yeah, those they look are good. so yummy, crunchy, sweet. Yes. Just that perfect amount. And then we like to circle our plates with our strawberries. Oh, ooh, okay. Um, do a nice yep. presentation, and our plates in store are always kept in our freezer, so oh, they're nice, cold so they're plates. nice and chilled. And if you like your salads like I do, I know that's incredibly important. Nice. Nobody likes a warm plate with nice your cold Not for a salad, yeah, nice and refreshing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a bug here who wants in on this on this meal here. Okay, I get it. So I, I'm sure you all would do this a lot more beautiful than me, but you know, hey, I think yours is looking gorgeous. I'm working my way up to maybe making it onto the staff. Let's see. <laughs> and and this is an easy presentation That's easy. you can absolutely do at home. All these yeah. ingredients you are able to get at any local grocery store so you right. can make this. But we also can provide it for any barbecue, catering option, and anything like that. Right. It would be a good add-on, you know, if you're like, hey, I'm not cooking, but absolutely. we need something light and fresh. This is, this is a great one to do for and that as well. You know, we well. come in with that homemade look. So yeah. it looks like you made it. And then we have our in scratch-made balsamic, balsamic vinaigrette. Balsamic vinaigrette. Yep. Perfect. It provides that perfect amount of finishing touch on that and that sweetness. There's a little bit of crunch for the pecans. I think I did pretty good there. I, I think, think it I looks did. gorgeous. So yeah, if you're looking for something with your to go with your barbecues on Monday and you're like, oh, I gotta bring a side dish and uh, I just don't want it to weigh everybody down, here you go. There's just a few ingredients there and you can make yourself a beautiful salad. And this is how lovely you all did. You did a nice job on it as well. So. Um, then we've got, you know, your standard chips and salsa as well. Yep, our salsa is also made in-house, just mm -hmm. like most of our ingredients mm -hmm. and all of our menu options. Mm -hmm. And then I also brought to pair that salad with that hot summer day, mm -hmm. we've got our blue Hawaiian drink, and it's topped off with our mint sprig and our cranberry cube. I'm looking at these ice cubes. They're adorable. Just brings more color, and who doesn't like vibrant drinks? And it's like very patriotic, too, I feel like, with the, with the like, sort of like a red, but like a pink with the blue. That's cute. So what's in this? That is our, it's Long Island based. Okay. And then you have your blue Caraco and your sweet and okay. sour mix. Tim, Tim, you know, zhuzh a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. And then what is this? That's Here our we... margarita, mar uh -huh. our watermelon margarita. Uh, how refreshing refreshing is that super do you really ser serve it with a water we do size? absolutely every single one you get a little snack with your drink <laughs> and I like it soaks up that flavor too. I like that as well and I think you brought some non-alcoholic stuff this morning we did too. Mm -hmm. these are our in-store lemonades um, also very vibrant very refreshing and yummy so mm -hmm. I brought the strawberry we have our blue um, caraco and then our mango mango one as well. I was absolutely. eyeing that I love mango so that's just beautiful now uh, most people though when we do think of Memorial Day we are thinking about grilling burgers, you know, steaks, that sort of thing. Uh, what's on the menu there at Bubba's? Oh, burgers. <laughs> burgers galore. We have burgers, pizza. You can definitely get your steak at our store. Um, pasta, I definitely recommend trying that. Mm -hmm. We can fulfill pretty much any kind of 
menu option you want at your barbecue and the look you want between our sauces and our dips. If you want some dipping munchy foods, walk by and grab and eat to our full uh, entrees and salad options. So if people want to put in an order, yep. how far in advance should they do something like that? We like to say about 48 hours okay. just to give us enough time so we can give you the best app, uh, service possible. So now is about the time. If you're thinking about it and you're like, you know what, I want to just eat and not think about cooking um, you Enjoy can put that order in as well yes exactly so and and for people who want to stop in and get something to eat where are you located yes so we're 3534 Secor Road mm -hmm. we're right between Central and Monroe Street um, same parking lot as Texas Roadhouse actually our sister company uh, very good so beautiful salad thank you so much for showing Absolutely. us how to make that you might want to add that to your menu coming up for the holiday thanks for being here today thank you so much it. yeah well coming up on Toledo's most local 9 a.m. show good day it's never too late to get some color into your garden and yard and we've got the perfect place to get those beautiful flowers maybe some locally made snacks as well stay with us for more good day